One of the things that makes a document attractive is how the text is arranged on the page. This document will look a lot better if we add spacing between the paragraphs. We select the paragraphs we want to space. Then we right-click on the selection. From the shortcut menu, we choose Paragraph. This dialog box gives us lots of control over paragraph formatting, including alignment, indentation, and spacing. We can even set the spacing of the lines in the paragraph. We want to add spacing after each paragraph, so we click on that increase arrow twice to set a 12-point spacing. This is the same as one line of 12-point text. The preview window shows how it will look. When we click on OK, the formatting is applied. Now let's change the alignment of our text. There are four kinds of alignment to choose from. Left aligned text is evenly aligned along the left margin. Centered text is centered between the margins. Right aligned text is even along the right margin. And full justified text is even along both margins. Right now our entire document is left aligned. We want to center just the heading, so we select it. Then we click on the center button. And the heading is centered between the margins. Now we want to offset this list and make it more eye-catching. We'll use bullets. We select the items we want bulleted. We'll use the bullets button on the toolbar. Notice that there's also a numbering button to add automatic paragraph numbering. We click on the bullets button and a bullet is inserted in front of each line, and each line is indented. Now we want to indent an entire paragraph. Earlier, you learned how to use the tab key to move text to the next tab stop. We move to the end of the document, and then to the beginning of the paragraph. If we want to indent just the first line of a paragraph, we use the tab key. We want to indent this whole paragraph, so we backspace out the tab. Now we'll use the indent feature. Since we're formatting just one paragraph, we don't have to select it first. We just right-click in it, and from the shortcut menu, we select Paragraph. In the indentation section, we set the left indent to half an inch. We'll indent the right side, too, so we set that the same way. When we click on OK, the paragraph is indented on both sides. Now to make it look even better, we'll put a border around it. The border button is currently set to apply an outside border, but we have a lot of border choices. We do want the outside border, so we just click on the button. Now we'll move to the top. The formatting we've added has certainly improved the look of this document. Sometimes after we've added formatting, we want to see exactly what formatting is applied. Finding that out is easy with the Help feature. We click on the Help menu, and then on What's This? The pointer displays with a question mark. When we click in some text, a box displays the paragraph formatting and the font formatting. We could find out about other formatting now, or we could click on Buttons or Menus to get information about them, but we'll just turn off the What's This? feature. We open the menu and click it again. Now to finish our formatting, we want to format this line the same as the first line. We could go through all the formatting steps again, but there's an easier way, using the Format Painter. We just click in the text whose format we want to use, and we click on the Format Painter button. The pointer displays with a paintbrush. Then we just select the text we want to format. It's that easy. The new formatting replaces the old formatting, including spacing. So we add a blank line. In less than an hour, you've seen how quickly and easily you can create, edit, and format documents with Microsoft Word 97. And there are many more features that you can explore as you enjoy learning and using Microsoft Word. The same way I enjoy learning about all the interesting ways Terry's mind works. What now? Well, you know that dripping faucet you asked me to fix? Oh, you've been thinking about that faucet. Yeah, but I've also been thinking about how you want me to water the plants all the time. Oh, this should be good. Well, I figured that if it drips about once every second, and there are 60 seconds in a minute, now that's uh, 3,600 seconds in an hour. Now 3,600 drips must be about a gallon of water, maybe more.